Hi, I'm Jake, a student at Juanita High School. Phase one of Juanita's new school, Behind Us, will open in September. I'm here with Tansy Hansen, the project manager for the Juanita High School project, and Jed Reynolds, the resource conservation manager for Lake Washington School District. Thanks, Jake. Today we're drilling one of the last of the school's geothermal wells, which will help keep the school at comfortable temperature year-round. In total, Juanita will have 114 geothermal wells. Can you tell us briefly how geothermal heating works? Deep down, the Earth's temperature stays relatively constant, so we can circulate water in a big loop from the building and then down through all the pipes that are buried underground. And there it absorbs heat and brings it back into the building, where we have heat pumps that use compressors and heating coils to move heat into your classrooms. And a fun fact about this is the bores are as deep down as the Statue of Liberty is tall. So they're way down there. Hi, I'm Casey. I'm a member of Juanita High School's Earth Core Club. Jed, how is a geothermal heating system better for the environment than our current system, which uses gas-fired boilers? It's better for the environment in a couple ways. So the current school uses two monster-sized boilers that uh, burn natural gas to generate the heat. Uh, the new system is going to use electricity and so th the more that our region uses renewable energy the fewer and fewer fossil fuels are going to be burned. Uh, secondly, it's just the sheer amount of electricity. So uh, the new system is a lot more efficient than a typical baseboard heater or uh, even an air source heat pump like many of us have at home. The uh, geothermal system in fact is about four times more efficient than those type of systems and so uh, it can save money on the energy bills. Hi, I'm Cameron. That sounds like a lot of water circulating through the system. Where does that water come from? Pipes are filled with water after the installation process. It's a closed loop, which means that the same water is circulating through the system in a continuous loop. Hi, I'm Caroline, and I've heard that it's only about 50 degrees underground. I would like my school to be a little warmer than that. How will this system do that for me? You're right. Underground temperature is about 50 degrees uh, year round. And that might not sound warm to you and me, but the heat pumps love 50 degrees and can extract the heat really efficiently at that temperature. And then as the heat is extracted, the water returns to the ground really cold, 36 to 40 degrees Fahrenheit. And then it warms up as it makes its way through the loop. But what if it's really cold? So we live in a mild climate, it rarely freezes here, but if we have a really cold day, we do have what we call makeup boilers, and those boilers give an extra boost so that we can keep the building at a comfortable temperature. Thank you for explaining more about Juanita's geothermal heating system. And thank you for joining us.